Every race has a stereotype they must face in their everyday life. Whether you are the rich Indian that owns a dairy, a smart Asian who can't drive a car to save yourself, or the unemployed drug addict Southside criminal Māori living on a benefit while raising a family of ten, filling their homes with furniture and electronics which was never theirs in the first place. But what about the Māori people that have challenged a stereotype? We have found a couple of the many Māoris achieving in life today to prove that not everyone falls under this stereotype. Hi, my name is Tai Pepere. Um, we're from uh, my Eve is Nati Paro from the East Coast, Tiki Tiki, where my father comes from. Tipi, Fenua Pepere. Was born in Tiatatu, have uh, three brothers and a sister, all grew up together. My name is Tony Hill, and I, my iwi is Nati Ronui. Um, I come from a very large family of 14. Yes, I did. I started school like everyone at five years old, intermediate, primary, intermediate, and that high school. Uh, it was school certificate, so yeah, yeah, passed my school certificate, five subjects as well, which is the highest you can get. So I finished uh, my secondary education up to seven form and passed with a B bursary. Check it out, one, two. Not really, because I didn't think like that. Okay. I didn't really care what people thought. I just went out and did it myself. I think they expected me not to achieve anything greater than life, that what was dealt with me in life, that was as good as it was going to get. Check it out. One, two. No, I didn't actually, because um, cause like I said, I, I worked really hard at school. I got really good marks in all my exams, so I had really good school certificate marks. So. I just went out straight away and got a job straight away, really. To be honest, I haven't come across that, uh, but I am fully aware that you know, me and my friends have had that, where they've gone to job interviews there. They, the employers, or potential employers, have looked at them and classified them, no, we won't give you anything, or why bother going for anything that is uh, remotely requiring any form of great intelligence. Work hard. <laughs> Work really hard. Yeah. Which is the same for everyone really. Specifically went out to do it on my own. Um, that was important to me that I did it. I was the, the orchestrator of my future. That I made sure that I made the decision. So should I fail, I can only blame myself. Ty Peppery owns a Moldy Cafe in Lyon, a small town in France. His cafe turns into a pub during the night, which is very popular among the adults. Tony has a more family oriented cafe, located in Mount Eden Village. It is called the Sierra Cafe. The cafe is a very successful business that is open during the day and is very popular amongst the locals. We tracked down another two students, both at different schools, and interviewed them about what it is they are doing now and what they are wanting to achieve in the future. Adam Henry, currently being educated at Mount Albert Grammar, is in a developing league team. He hopes to make it into the New Zealand rugby league team, the Warriors. Uh, kia ora, uh, my name is Adam Henry. Uh, I go to Mount Albert Grammar School. My iwi is Ngāti Tūwharetoa and Ngāti Gold Coast. Um, I'm currently in the Vodafone Warriors development squad. Hoping to break into the 26th year. Yeah. Basically, it's just the best, I'd say the best, but um, about 60 handpicked players all, all around New Zealand, mostly from Auckland though, and um, just train. They just try, train for like six months, three months, or whatever. And um, if you get improvements over that month, or over those months, um, you get. You get put into the Toyota Cup. Oh. Basically, just to achieve in my area of sport, that being rugby league, and also just um, earn lots of money, eh, just like everyone else. I'm a past level one and two. Um, I just, my dad always told me to study hard and um, just keep your head in the book, say, eh? always comes first. My dad used to play league, 
he didn't make it very far. Um, he had a serious back injury. But um, no, growing up, watching him play, it's just yeah, it made me want to play as well. 17-year-old Epsom Girls grammar student Parimo Marsh, however, is striving for a different path in life. She is Kapahaka leader at her school and she wants to be more of a leader for Māori people. Kia ora, I'm Parimo Roi Matamash and I am from Ngāpui and Ngāti Parau and I live in the hostel. I come from Okaiho, a small town up north. I want to go in the media industry. I want to be a presenter or um, a journalist, and that's really to, you know, get my face out there, get good connections and stuff like that. I am the Māori leader of Epsilon Girls Grammar, and I'm involved in Kapaka. And this year we started up the Māori committee, and that committee helps to spread a positive image for Māori within the school. Um, really my whānau, they, um, my mum and my dad, they both help like Māori people. Yes I have, um, with the support of my family, um, I've gotten merit endorsements in both level one and two hopefully in level three as well. Basically there's a lot of opportunities out there for Māori people. Um, there's scholarships, there's sports scholarships, normally we do well in sports and um, you know getting involved in the school like doing kapaka that always keeps you out of trouble and stuff. Simply just there we go back there. Um, just sit set yourself a goal that you want to achieve and um, just, I don't know, just try harder, like just try and achieve that. And allow our life's opportunities to get in the way and feel that we don't fit in or we're not adequate enough, that is all wrong. Believe in yourself there. Use your, utilise your families, utilise the people that you know, utilise and recognise all your talents and the things that make you who you are. Lift your head up and work hard. Don't worry about anyone else, just think of yourself and just go for it and work hard and you will succeed. Rags to riches, start an addict, you don't know how the story goes. Round every corner and playground, there's someone who could have had it all. Somewhere other than a world calling their name. From Maywe students to class, they use this. What's happening with our kids today? Poison by our own, can't sleep anymore. Sisters, welcome.